Here I've got the MT9 MIDI to trigger module from Analog Solutions. I'm going to use it to create some beats and also trigger in some clock inputs and moving a sequencer and then using the accent output in a more creative way, triggering a sequencer as opposed to just a standard accent input on a drum module. Amongst this web of cables is the Analog Solutions MT9 MIDI to trigger. You get nine trigger outputs that correspond to nine MIDI notes and there's also an accent output. It's also got a MIDI through to connect to other modules. I've got eight sounds set up in my modular, taking triggers from the first eight triggers and then I'm using the ninth trigger as a MIDI clock. You can see the MIDI patch that I've got on screen and here's the sound of each trigger that I've got set up. The first note is just a single eighth note and all the other triggers follow in succession. So here I'll fade up the volume of each note. So there's all 8 percussion sounds moving through those triggers, stepping from trigger 1 through to 8. If I pull some triggers out, you'll start to hear those sounds stop. And I've also got trigger 9 going out as a quarter note clock, and you can see that on the MIDI patch on the screen. This is clocking an echo fawn, which is for the tempo sync delay on one of the sounds. Moving on to a new MIDI pattern, here's another beat. You can see that new MIDI pattern on screen as well. So it's really easy to take nine MIDI notes and create trigger patterns which can be triggering beats. This could also provide clock outputs, resets, trigger envelopes and anything else within your modular that can be triggered or have a gate input. Here's a new MIDI pattern playing and I've got a full mix of all these drum sounds going into a WMD Geiger counter for some pretty nasty digital processing and distortion. I'm using this short yellow cable to take the accent output of the MT9 and I'm taking that to clock the input of an Analog Solutions SQ8 sequencer and that's going to move through sequencer steps at each time the accent output goes high. We're currently on step 3 and turning that up and down it's controlling a VCA letting the drum mix through so that essentially the sequence here is a volume control for this patch. So at the minute none of the notes in this patch have a high enough velocity coming into the MT9 to actually trigger the velocity output. So if I move to a new MIDI pattern you'll see that the accented notes which are going to be red will trigger the accent output and then move through each step of the sequencer as each trigger on that accent output is triggering the clock to move through the steps on the sequencer. So now the MIDI's changed, every time this red note's triggering, it's moving through steps on the SQ8. One thing that the SQ8 does have is onboard gate sequencing, so pulling and pushing these knobs actually turns the gates on and off. But working this way, taking it into the clock input and using the volume, which at the minute is just high then low then high then low, so it is acting like a gate. This would work on any sequencer, not just the SQ8, although the bonus feature of the SQ8 is that gate sequencing. So as the sequencer is modulating the volume of the distortion in the mix, I'm going to add in the dry drum sound. I play around with the SQ8's levels so that you can effectively silence the distortion and then sequence those volume levels. So that's the MT9 from Analog Solutions, providing 9 trigger outputs from a MIDI input and also an accent output. We've also got the MIDI through to connect to other modules and these triggers can be used for clocks, sequencers, drums, gates, clock dividers and a whole multitude of things within the modular.